Hey guys, welcome to Biyake Homemaker. Today I'm going to share with you in this video a restaurant style fluffy upma which is very easy for the breakfast recipe. Please follow the steps, don't miss in between. And who are watching me for the first time, please subscribe my channel and hit the bell icon. Hit the bell icon to get my new notification and if you really feel that this video is useful and please share this video and like this video and let's get into the video now. This, do you remember guys, this bottle I have done the DIY with the only the top of the cap. This is a honey bottle. Here I am using it for semolina storage. And just keep the pan and added 2 cups of semolina here. And this I'm going to roast it for at least 10 minutes with a low flame which until it turns a golden color which will really go a raw flavor of this semolina. And this is really a great uh, recipe for the reason that this recipe you can really add up in your diet as well. And uh, this is going to be a, a great recipe even for the diabetes uh, at least alternative days if you have this or uh, semolina it's really good for our health as well and uh, just uh, well you yeah, make sure your pan bottom should not burn with this semolina make sure this color should be golden color not the black color guys remember as you stir and as you fry your rukma or recipe is going to be great taste and meanwhile I just uh, uh, I've done DIY on the honey bottle, I told you, right? Please uh, check out the link I've given in the description box. Uh, like how I've done. You can also ju just don't throw the honey bottles. You can do DIYs and you can even use it for any storage purpose. Here, I just kept the same pan again. I just kept to cool down that uh, semolina. Just kept the same pan and added uh, 3 to 4 tablespoons of oil. I just added 1 tablespoon of mustard seeds. 1 tablespoon of uh, black rum seeds and 1 tablespoon of chana dal and now I'm gonna add uh, just uh, half more I just added uh, uh, cumin seeds and here you have to cook in a very low flame so that uh, uh, your it will really cook well your upma as well and now I just uh, adding uh, curry leaves very fresh curry leaves i really love curry leaves whatever the dish i'm preparing i would like to add up curry leaves and now i'm just added uh, uh, green chilies as per your spiciness you just add i just added only three because my son don't like spicy food so here i'm just preparing with very less spiciness because upma is everybody's favorite right now i'm just gonna add uh, onions right onions are really important one cup of onion just i took one big size onion chop finely and just add it to the pan and stir well sort well until slightly turn now i'm gonna add a ginger garlic paste of one tablespoon this will really give a great aroma as well great taste to your rukma. now here i'm adding one cup of tomato which is small size tomatoes too i finely chopped and added to the pan here now just sort well and meanwhile what you do is just sprinkle some salt so that even uh, tomatoes will cook very soon like what I'm doing in the video and uh, you need to wait for more time if you sprinkle some salt no this tomato will really cook very soon as every video I am telling this and you can observe this actually after uh, sprinkling some salt if you really stir well and then definitely it will cook well so it will not take much of your time. And here I added one cup of uh, potatoes, uh, lovely dish and I really love to have a bite, every bite of upma if you find that potato bites, wow it is awesome no, now just stir well. Uh, if you want you can add up some coriander leaves and uh, even uh, carrots you can add up any peas anything you can add up here look how I'm adding I just added two cups of uh, uh, just added two cups of uh, semolina for that I measurement should be perfect guys I here I added four and a uh, cup of uh, four and a half cup of uh, water i just added here yes 
stir well until all the veggies get mixed into that water and add uh, now just you have to check out with the salt as well the spiciness if you want now also you can add a uh, green chilies to more you can add nor you can sprinkle some salt if you feel the salt is less now this is how the right time to add up the cool down uh, semolina here just our in the beginning we just fried it and kept aside for cool down just now the water is boiling this is the time look how i am just pouring the semolina the same way you have to pour and in, in the meanwhile well, you have to just just stir well if not the lumps make Uh, lumps may come so that without a lumps you have to prepare the upma that is the main thing for this recipe here i just added a half cup of coriander leaves finely chopped now just stir well you have to leave this mixture to cook at least for 10 minutes 10 to 15 minutes it might take because look at the water i be need it very fluffy and soft to upma here look at the consistency after just a 5 minutes or 10 minutes look how it is bubbles are coming now wow it is so colorful because i added tomatoes the upma is looking so colorful guys and it is very healthy even if you have with the uh, chutneys or even you can have with the some pickled tomato pickles this is going to be awesome recipe and uh, i'm just pouring some 2 tablespoon of uh, ghee here this will really give a great flavor and even love to have this very soft upma and after 5 minutes you have to see this very soft fluffy and even my son love to have this upma and uh, again and again we keep preparing this weekly once at least guys if you really want to prepare such a delicious and tasty and simple recipe please follow this guys and uh, oh you want the diy of honey bottles definitely i'm going to give in the description box please check out and who have not subscribe my channel please subscribe my channel until then take care bye bye